like me and you've been in a few labs, I think that it becomes apparent that you really need to spend a little more time in um, finding that person that really fits you. Um, I think there were occasions where I was really just trying to find a lab and I wasn't exactly sure about my field. And so I had those experiences and every experience you can take something from it. Definitely there have been the mentors that are, have been really influential. And I think that's due in part to the research area suiting uh, my interests and also with their level of commitment. So it's really a two-way street, you know. You, you can go in and decide you're going to have an amazing experience and you're going to learn a lot no matter what. But you're going to need the, you know, the assistance and the, um, the work of a professor and a mentor. And a lot of that is dependent on the amount of time that they have. To devote to you. If a lab's not working, then you get out and you go somewhere else until you find the right fit. And you, you know, it's even it could just even be going into the lab and talking to the people that work in the lab. I mean, that's what they tell you to do in graduate school. Um, they tell you to talk to the graduate students that work with the professor and what is their experience like. I would say that you know, as an undergrad looking at a lab, that you know, you should. Think about doing something similar to that. See if that, not only the research is going to be a good fit, but if that environment is going to be a good fit.